Dear FPV pilots, we are back with another FPV video. Today I want to talk to you about something that happened quite frequently to me. I was flying very fast, you know, very aggressively, and then I crashed. Then when I crashed this guy, it's a Beta 95X V3, what happened is that the GoPro actually detached from the drone. And when the GoPro detaches from the drone, what happens is that this cable here disconnects, meaning a naked GoPro like this one will lose power. And when a GoPro loses power, it leaves the file is recording in half. Now, if you take that file back into a computer, you won't be able to play it anymore. So all your nice footage before the crash is not available anymore. And it's a bit because you know how it goes, like you crash because you were flying very fast, you had this very nice shot, and then you lose the file, such a pity. However, I found out that there's a very, very nice open source software called Untrunk that allows you to recover files after a crash from a GoPro. It works for this kind of GoPro naked style. This is a GoPro Hero 7. It also works for regular GoPro. So stay tuned in case you have an unplayable file for a GoPro, this might be the solution for you. Sound back to the sound. We are not going to use the original Untrunk software because that I found to be quite limited. However, there is a very, very nice evolution of the software from Ant W Lock, and we are going to use that today. And we are going to install the software by using Docker. Docker is a virtualization environment which will make the installation of our software way, way easier than without it. So let's go ahead and download Docker. In this case, I will download Docker for Mac because I have a Mac with Intel PC. If you have an Apple chip, go for the Apple chip, Windows and Linux. Now, installing Docker is quite simple. You just get this DMG file, double click on that, and perform a regular installation. It's as simple as dragging, dropping Docker to the applications folder, like usual. So Docker is just a container. It does not contain any software itself, but we will use it to install and track. And how does it work? So first thing off, we are going to this website here, it's called GitHub, and the software we're going to install is called antwlock slash antrunk. So again, not just antrunk, but this version here, antwlock slash antrunk, which is way improved from the original antrunk software. To get this software on your computer, it's really simple. You need to fire up a terminal, and then what you need to type, let's say we want to install this software from the download folder, I typically do it like that. The first thing, we change directory to download folder, that's where I personally like to install the software which comes from third party. So you type tile and then down, you can uh, autocomplete by tab slash downloads. There we go, this is our download software. And here we want to download and track. How does it go? We just scroll down here into the description we just go here and copy paste this git clone command out of the github page of a track. Now we go back in the terminal and paste the command and hit enter. There we go, we just downloaded the software and we changed directory to the software itself. So now if I do an ls, I see all the files are here and we are ready for the next step, which is installing the software. Now since we're using Docker, the way it works, we use the commands down here for docker container, docker build, and docker image prune. So let's copy this into the terminal, paste it here, and away we go. Just let it work. 
we can just relax, sit down and wait for his. It's basically downloading all the software which is needed as companion software of Antrunk. And you see it's actually pulling from Linux, but who cares? That's the cool thing, you know, when you use Docker, you don't need to care about installing the software. Everything happens in the background for you. So now the software is installed. Every time you want to recover a video from the GoPro, we will need to run this command here. So to run this software, you actually need two files, not only your damage file, but also a working file. Working file can be of any size, but for example, here I have this, uh, it needs to be from the same camera. You have the GX010031 MP4 file, which as you see, plays correctly inside QuickTime. So this file is good. Next to it, I have this GX010032, which doesn't play. Document could not be open because as mentioned, this file comes for, from a crashed clip and a crash clip doesn't play correctly. Now, this is the file we want to restore. So how does it work? This command that we find here is what runs Untrunk and asks Untrunk to recover the file. However, we need to specify a valid and a not valid file. Let me show you how it works. So let's copy paste the command here, right? So in my case, I store the file on the desktop. So in slash of videos, I will type here desktop and that's it. And now you see it's calling Antrunk and you need to, to say to Antrunk, first thing he needs to know about which is an okay file. So a file which is playable. So let's go here and copy this file name, all of it, including the extension .mp4. So let's paste it here. Now this is telling Antrunk a good file he can look for reference. And then we want to tell Antrunk which file is the broken one. So let's remove the example file name. Again, we go here, copy the broken file name and paste it into our terminal. And next we type enter. And that's where the magic is happening. Now you see Antrunk is kind of scanning the whole file, looking around, seeing what's wrong, what's good, uh, looking at the reference file, looking at the broken file, and analyzing all the chunks of data that might be corrupted or not corrupted after the extraction. Now, since I'm finding this kind of naked GoPro, I don't have any actual audio from the clips, but somehow this might, might be a problem to recover the audio, but in, for FPV pilot, somehow this doesn't matter. Anyhow, as you see, there was a file created, so the operation went through, um, and you see he found a, a couple of errors because premature end clearly shows that there was an error in the clip. This is why we couldn't play, but the software ran through. So now if you go back to the desktop, you see I have a file which is called GX010032 MP4 fixed dot mp4 fantastic so now if i take this file it opens in quick time not only it opens but it also plays as you see so thanks to untrack i was able to recover clips from a crash that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video subscribe if you did leave me a comment about what you think and as always see you in the next one thanks for watching and thanks for flying with me